I don't even know who Snow Allegra is. <laughs> I was trying to find out. I'm from Sweden, born and raised in Sweden. I have uh, Iranian parents. Moved to Los Angeles a few years ago. I love music so much. I live, breathe music. <laughs> Some of my biggest influences are Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Prince, Whitney Houston. Really love big voices. Also love, you know, Lauren Hill, Brandy. It shaped me a lot being from Sweden. Obviously, I think anywhere you grow up, uh, it shapes you. Sweden is super, you know, gloomy and, and beautiful and, and very simple. People are very simple coming from there. But I'm also Iranian and more is more as, as an Iranian. So that definitely shaped me as well. Like the culture, it's so warm and poetic and it's just super different from the Swedish culture, but it's really cool to have a mix of both. And Licking with No ID, happened a few years ago. Uh, we're actually related. He's married oh. to my cousin, so that's my brother-in-law. He's definitely guided me and helped me shape my sound and you know everything I'm about as an artist. The art of patience, definitely, he's taught me. And it's just been really, really amazing to work with him. He really like brings out the truth in every artist he works with. To just be myself, as simple as it sounds, um, he, he's been one of the people who, who's been okay with me the way I am and not trying to change me so much because I've been through that as well a lot. <laughs> the first person I communicated was uh, with from selection was actually Joe K. I met him with no ID at, um, at a meeting they were talking about doing some stuff so he's always been you know good vibes super supportive and uh, yeah, I really like him. All my collaborations have come about very naturally and organic. If I've done a feature with somebody, I've probably met them in the studio. They've been working on their stuff at the same time. It's a really dope studio I work from, uh, No ID Studio, so I'm blessed to get to meet a lot of the people that he works with. Vic, Vince, Logic, they were all around and we all just naturally vibed and collaborate. One of my songs with Vic was, um, I was in the studio, I was having a meeting and he he actually knocked on the door while I was having a meeting and playing the song, You Keep Me Waiting. And he was like, excuse me, like, what is this song? No and then told me that he loved it and wanted to jump on it. They're all my favorite in different ways, my collabs, but uh, it was really cool to, to watch John Mayer play guitar on one of my songs, on Under the Influence. All my collaborators, honestly, they're very, very high up there, all in their own way. I love to work with people I can learn something from or, you know, I'm fascinated by all my collaborators, Stevie Wonder, Frank Ocean, and Blood Orange, actually. So the Do Not Disturb sample came about just me and Boy Wanda collaborating, honestly. We're good friends, and he, uh, he asked me to do some stuff for him, send him some vocals. So I sent him a sped up version of, of the Hook of Time, and he loved it and made a beat around it and sent it to Drake. <laughs> And that's how that happened. I have a love-hate relationship to social media. There's a lot of good things that can come out of that. Collaborations, you can just slide into somebody's DM and you never know what's gonna happen. But I'm a very visual artist as well. I love visuals, I love photography. So, I mean, Instagram is my favorite. And I, I love expressing myself and I love the freedom of, you know, being able to express yourself whenever you want and have direct contact with your fans and people who appreciate you. So that's a good part. I think it's super Super, super important to talk about it with I don't have kids myself but like I grew up being bullied almost my whole time in school from third grade up until end of high school for like different random reasons and I was super affected by it it's not something that goes away how I look at myself and it's something I have to work on constantly. So I think it's super important to work on it early in a young age with kids. I need hot water. Hot water? Yeah, hot water with throw coat tea okay. and honey. I need my space. I don't like when it's too many people in the studio. Like some rappers or yeah. other artists, they love when it's a party, but it's different because it helps them express themselves. For me, I, I, I don't like too many people in there. What else do I need? I need a notepad. Um, I think one of the ones that stood out for me was a guy came up to me with his friend, walked past me. He walked past me once and then he was like, 
shit, wait, are you snow? And I was like, yeah. He was shaking. He had tears in his eyes and was like, I have to really thank you because uh, I was about to commit suicide and your album helped me through that and stop me. I felt like in that moment, you know, it's just a journey for us all and it's a struggle as well. And sometimes maybe you feel like, damn, this is hard and or you want to give up or whatever. That's like a reminder that you're on the right path and that you're doing something important that, and it really affects people. I know it sounds like a cliche or whatever, but music can really save lives. I would tell her, keep going. It may be tough, but just keep going if it's really what you want to do. There's so many ways to do it now with the internet and everything. It's such a cliche, but honestly, it's nothing better than when you're really yourself and people feel your truth, that's when they really feel you. Don't be upset if you don't know exactly who you are, or what you want to do at 20 or 18. Sometimes it takes longer. I'm Snow Allegra and now you know.